Okay, so today I've got here a new Thunderbolt dock coming from BenQ, the DP1310. And it really has me thinking, what could possibly be different with this dock that makes it better or different than others? And I will get to that. But for 289 bucks, there's a whole lot this does that's a no brainer. But there are two other features that really do it for me. And I do have an extra one, so I will be giving one away. Just leave your Instagram handle down below in the comments and make sure you're subscribed. I'll announce the winner on September 22nd and I'll reach out to you directly through Instagram only. But starting with the unboxing though, you've got everything in here to streamline your entire setup. Of course, you've got the dock itself, which is weightier than I thought it'd be. You have this nice and thick HDMI 2.1 cable. You've got the power supply and cable along your type C display cable and all the paperwork everyone definitely reads. Coming down to the ports on this dock, it's actually pretty robust. On the back end, you've got the 100 watt type C port, which is what you'll be using for your host machine like a laptop. And for the other displays, you've also got an HDMI 2.1 port, a 1.2 display port, and an HDMI 2.0 port. For other connectivity, there's also loads here. You've got a 10 gig ethernet port, two type A ports with 7.5 watt charging, and up to 480 megabits per second transfer speeds, as well as a third type A port with 10 gigabits per second transfer. On the front end, you do have two type A ports also with 7.5 watt charging, but these do get up to 10 gigabits per second transfer as well. You've also got this Type-C port with 36 watt charging, also at 10 gigabits per second, and lastly, a 3.5 audio jack. Now, one of the things on this dock that makes it a little bit more special for me is this green circle right on the front. And it's actually a button that swaps my display between both my Mac and my PlayStation 5. Now, obviously this doesn't have to be a PS5, it can be another laptop, PC, or even a tablet. But what it does is swaps everything I've got plugged in between the Type-C and the HDMI 2.1 port. Now, the second thing that makes this so special to me is that since it has HDMI 2.1, I'm getting my full support for my PlayStation 5 for 4K at 120 Hz. And while it's not applicable to me, one of the best features about this dock is that if you do have an M1 or M2 MacBook, this dock will allow you to get more than one external display. I still don't know why the M1 and M2 can't support more than one external display, it's kind of wild. But setting this up is super easy as well, but it also depends on what you've got going on in your setup. For myself, I'm pretty minimal with just one display and two machines. You can have up to three 4K displays at 60 Hz, a single 8K display at 60, or 4K at 120 hertz like myself and i'm sure there's other combinations to be had as well for mine you just simply plug in your sources the rear type c is your outbound type c machine and for myself this is either my lg gram or macbook pro and whatever machine you're actually looking to swap to plug that into your swappable hdmi 2.1 port and that's what allows this dock to act like a kvm at the press of this green button the last step is to download the display drivers if you are using mac which allows this to work or simply split the display signal for the m1 and m2 max and again your hdmi 2.1 does not have to be a console for my use case the main thing for me is that this dock keeps my entire space tidy and really gives me back a ton of ports on my MacBook Pro that I simply do not have. I also use the 36 watt plug to charge practically all my accessories like my keyboard, my iPad, and even my MagSafe phone charger which I typically take with me on the go. I also use this dock for accessories that don't need charging but again my MacBook wouldn't be able to plug in otherwise. For this I have my microphone, my light bar, and both the 2.4 gigahertz dongles that I do need for my peripherals. Outside of that again it is a quick and easy way to swap to my PlayStation 5 when I'm just ready to chill out. And it really does pull together my entire setup much easier. My monitor does have three type A ports, but for me, that's simply not enough. This monitor is badass though. It is a 4K 144 Hertz monitor from Gigabyte, which is perfect for both gaming on my PS5 and work on my MacBook. The MacBook itself is the 2021 MacBook Pro with the base M1 Pro chip. It actually works super well and it's what I use to run this entire YouTube channel. Of course, the PlayStation 5 is what I use to decompress the most nowadays with high refresh gaming at 4K in HDR. It's honestly such a badass system. When it comes down to my peripherals on the 2.4, gigahertz dongles. I'm using the new Fi Air 96 and the Razer Arachi. The light bar I use on top of my monitor is from Xiaomi and honestly it's simple, elegant, useful, and minimal. I really can't go wrong with this one. My Blue Yeti mic is what I do use for my voiceover and work calls when I do need it and this desk mat is from Grovemade. It's just a nice way to make the setup look cleaner. Lastly there's my iPad Air 4 from 2020 on this satisfying swivel stand from Banks and I also charge this up through the Type-C port on the dock. And of course this dock pulls everything together in my setup super easily and does a damn good job. I will leave the link down below in the video description. Again, I'm giving one of these away. All you got to do is subscribe, leave a comment with your Instagram handle, and I'll reach out to you by September 22nd. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching till the end. Till next time.